You keep your chin up. This is what she does to you every week, and you let her psych you out. Don't give her that control. You'll be okay, okay? Don't give her the satisfaction of seeing you cry, Chloe. How many people are sitting on a yoga ball every morning? Okay. So you don't really want to do this, right? I do. Well. Get off your butt, walk over to Ross, and buy a ball. That's your fault. All of you. Don't embarrass me. Six. Seven. Eight. Sit up upstairs with your mother. I don't know what to do. Oh well. Laugh at me. But Kenzie, honey, because it was cute. You ran what out of the room like you're afraid of spiders. I, but don't she yell. laughed at me. But honey. Because I wasn't doing anything because I don't know what to do. You're not going to start tanning again with your hair still down. For real? Leave the room, get the hair up, and don't come back until it's up. Why she was crying, I don't know. Kids should cry when their arm is broken and it's hanging off or somebody dies. That's it. We're working on turns that take you 20 minutes to get your hair up. What's going on? Why were you in your car last night crying? I was crying because I was just going to ask you if I could have a solo. I just like and feel like this is like my home and... Uh-uh. Every opportunity... I have given you came from my heart. Maddie won how many titles? How many times was she on the top of the pyramid? Girls, come on, I want to get going for the pyramid. Where are you? There's people standing in the parking lot. That was awful, Maddie. I don't deserve that. I didn't deserve any of it. There's always another kid. There's always somebody else. We love you. We were ready to work with you. And you sat out there. This is your job. You don't want to be here? I have four kids standing in the hall right now that I looked at on stage earlier today that could take any one of your places. Peyton, you can't even look at me. You're looking everywhere else. Stop acting like a baby. You're 16 years old and everybody's watching you cry. Save your tears for the pillow. You have an opportunity here. Don't blow it, kiddo. Go. So the little smart ass is trying to tell me that that's not the quote that she said that we're wrong. I'm not gonna have Abby be mean to my daughter anymore. I can't do it. Abby's not perfect. That's for sure. Abby, why'd you call Mackenzie a smart ass? Why? Because she just she's said... trying to contradict me. No, she about... said I thought it was I wanted to stay at home and eat chips because that's what I thought it was too. You don't have to call her smart ass. Well, but you didn't hear the way she said it. Okay, but I don't think you should call her smart ass. I'll never call her anything again. She said other kids would just remember it Kenzie. in two minutes. Kenzie. And she's like, okay, well, we have Kenzie. 20 seconds Kenzie. done. Kenzie. Just calm down. Kenzie, you know how this goes. She's just being mean and rude, but she always don't is. I do it. Abby needs to take something out on someone, and she's taking it out on us. But just leave my daughter alone. She doesn't want to mess with me right now. Chloe, you're going to enter first, right there. You're on the top of the pyramid. Don't push it. I don't know why your mother doesn't say you have confidence. You are the cockiest kid I've ever worked with. Isn't it ironic that Abby's tactics are very equivalent to bullying in a dance about bullying? I'm giving you both legs straight, and you're doing one bet. Do you understand? She just doesn't have a brain in her head. Move in. I have to be very careful the battles I pick with Abby, because Abby doesn't like me. She's made that 
perfectly clear. But when I see Chloe starting to cry and I see the tears actually on her shirt, her dance wear, I'm thinking, oh God, what is going on in there? She's an evil bitch. Chloe's crying. I expect more from you. You should know what straight legs are. And you ignore me and you just keep going. I'm a little upset because I didn't understand what Miss Abby was saying to me for choreography. You're not a choreographer. Don't start being one. And she yelled at me because I was doing another thing. She was like, you're choreographing. And I really wasn't trying to choreograph. I just didn't know what she meant. She'll come out. She isn't going to come out. You want to go down and see? She says, I can't know. walk in that room. Well, Chloe isn't going to walk out. Because then she'll get yelled at more. You're on the top of the pyramid. Suck it up. The next kid's on speed dial to come to the studio. Kendall, Kendall, you know what? You're done. The people that were in here dancing are a thousand times better than you. Go somewhere else and work on it. There's nothing like working with Abby. You almost have to get your heart and your mind in a certain mode to be able to work with Abby. Oh, she's crying. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I'm just feeling Abby. What were, you, what were you working on? I told me I did the turn, and I didn't hear her, and she yelled at me. Jill, I don't know what's going on, but... I don't either. I have an empty room, and I have 30 kids shoved into Studio B practicing. I just gave you a combination, and you couldn't remember it two seconds later. That's not Kendall. Time's up. That's what they mean. She keeps being mean to me. A kid who's the only one that got a solo shouldn't be up there crying. She's right. You shouldn't be crying. However, you are. Uh, you, girl in the front, move over to the right. You shouldn't be center. Move. Abby won't refer to Chloe by her name. She keeps calling her that girl or her or she. I mean, like, how how belittling can you get to not even say someone's name? I want to teach Chloe. You can't take anything for granted. Because even if you're gone, the show must go on. So, Chloe, if you want me to remember your name, then you need to prove it to me. Make me remember. What'd she say? Angel says, girl, she doesn't even say my name. She's done. Done. Stupid is as stupid does, and I can't stand it anymore. It's ridiculous. There we go again with Kelly. Bad parenting. Even a preschool mother knows you don't come downstairs, you don't open the door, you let the teacher handle it. Why do you let her bother you? I just don't get it. Just, who cares? Look at her and be like, who cares, Miss Abby? Paige is a sensitive kid. That's how I want her to be. And Abby flips out because she's crying. You know, she's not professional. Well, no, she's not professional. She's a 10-year-old little girl at dance class. Do you not want to do it? OK. Get control of yourself and go ahead in. And if she says you're done, walk out and I'll walk in. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like it. I would love to hear some suggestions on what you would like me to do in upcoming videos and I will see you on my next video.